Hey guys, this is my Sriracha t-shirt. It's my favorite lucky fishing t-shirt. I wear it every time I go fishing without fail. If it's cold outside, it's going on underneath my layers. Um, it just has some, some awesome fishing mojo. I don't know what it is. It's probably all just in my head, but uh, I love this shirt and uh, it just brings me a lot of luck. Now, this is what it looks like when it was brand new. And this is what it looks like now. Uh, the lettering is quite faded. Uh, we have uh, this huge stain down here at the bottom. We have your stereotypical armpit stains uh, on both pits, obviously. Uh, we got some stains. Uh, we got some holes starting down here. Um, the wife says it's time to retire it. Uh, a lot of times I'll come home, I'll go fishing in the morning, I'll come home and I'll just continue wearing it all day. And uh, <laughs> the wife says it's it's time. So I'm gonna make it into a fishing rag because I love the shirt. I'm not gonna give it up. Now I could just I could just cut it up uh, in into several rags and be done with it. But I've decided that this shirt deserves something more. Uh, it doesn't deserve to just be cut up like some regular old pair of underwear and, and used to uh, wipe dirty things in the shed. Not, not that I cut off my old underwear, but I've heard of people doing it. So what I've decided to do is to make it into a fishing rag with some eyelets so I can attach a carabiner to my belt loop or my tackle box. Um, so I got the eyelets. I got the eye, extra large eyelet toolkit. I think you just hit it with a hammer. I probably didn't really need to buy that. I could have figured something out. And since I don't know how to sew, I got some fabric fusion. Uh, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do this and uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the video. Um, <laughs> it's not a, a probably going to be a very uh, popular in-demand video, but uh, you know, I'm quite fond of, of my fishing shirts and I think it's just kind of fun to figure out something to do with them, to hang on to them and, and kind of keep them around. So, you know, you, you go out and you go fishing with your family and you have your favorite fishing shirt and you had a lot of memories with your family in that fishing shirt and you caught a lot of great fish and you you know on the campfire you had a lot of great meals so let's just uh let's just fix it up so i didn't really know what size i was going to make it so what i did is I, I i had a box in my shop uh i figured i would just trace around this box and maybe double the size of this and just trace around it get uh traced it at the top uh kind of extended it a little bit and uh cut it off at the bottom so can't even cut a straight line. Oh, look at that. It's horrible. But you get the idea. Just need a pair of scissors. Done. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so we're just going to run a bead right down along here, and then we're going to fold it. We're going to do the same thing to the other side of the t-shirt so we can overlay this uh, and glue these two sides together. Okay. Trust me guys, if I knew how to sew, I would probably have done that, but I don't know a sewing machine and so far this has probably taken me less than 10 minutes uh, if, you, if you take out the uh, talking to the camera and stuff. Okay, so we've made a hole. So the male end of our grommet, which is this piece, would go underneath uh, through the hole. The female is going to go over top like that. And there's like this little anvil y thing with the groove. The groove goes up and it's just going to fit just like that on your uh, male end. So that's going to come down on your desk. Um, then you have this grommet punch 
It's just going to go over like that. And then basically, you just bang the shit out of it with a hammer. That's the theory, anyways. Okay, guys. I did it. Uh, I can tell you right now, this is looking like the worst, sloppiest homemade fishing towel uh, ever. I think I might have been better off just literally cutting it up uh, like an old pair of underwear like I talked about. But nonetheless, ah, uh, see shit. I ripped my shit. I ripped my, look, I ripped my stuff already. That's horrible. So anyways, carabiner. You can just go right through there. I guess I should have went up further. Hook onto your belt. <laughs> I guess it'll be okay when it dries, but I don't think I'm gonna wait. And I'm kind of like moving it all around and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the worst idea ever. Just cut, just cut up your old, your old favorite cinnamon. Magical mojo fish catching t-shirts into uh, into regular rags. I think you'll be better off Not every idea can be a home run, but um, I don't know maybe in a later video after all this stuff uh, dries uh, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> What a horrible fucking idea uh, What a horrible idea this was uh, Well, I hope at least, if anything, if you didn't learn anything, which I can't see how many of you did, um, at least maybe hopefully you were entertained. Later.